when I was little, I went through several phases. When I grew up, I went through several phases when it came to making videos. And in 2016 and 2017, I was really into skits, and I was also into drama. And you're about to see drama. You're about to see me pretending to be an evil queen. And I do this in two different videos, and I'm putting them together here. And so, um, and I have these people, you know, these pretend kind of people that come and I, you know, sort of give them orders and, um, you know, order them about. And, um, and it's, you know, really, um, again, very uh, dramatic. And I sort of have fun and go off about these different types of things. And, um, yeah, so I do hope that you enjoy. Could I only have the full fledged setting of the Angel Gabriel blue countertop? I do admire the color. Please put down the listing for me, please. You know that I have a sensual liking for deep dish double glazing. But then again, I don't want to be the vain person now that just goes around doing everything that have everything for me that I just cannot do. I mean, if you want to do it, why, do it yourself. But for a cheap double glazer who's harmed and helpless, I suggest this cheap double glazing in a dispatcho that costs $9.99. And all you can do is the least is just go to the fetching and get me some rubber snippers, please. I know I like to be grand, but I want to be comfortable after all my I can stand around, but I cannot want to exercise. So please, get me some nice, comfortable slippers. I need slippers. The nice, spidery, good ones with the red colored and the velvet and violet. That's the one I like, too. <laughs> Could you do it for me? As a royal peasant, I like peasants who are very well. Is he here? Is he there? Is he great, great, 
get the cotton cock kettle corn out of me, but I'm so glad you came. You should know something. I'm not available for people in the morning, very early, and I'm not available for people late at night. Now, what did you give me for information? All right, that is completely it. I said that I would give you information, and I did say that I would be highly disappointed. Show me. I don't like any lies. I don't like any fibbers, and I don't trust people who fib, and I don't trust people who don't give me what I ask. Well, I got that really out. Good job, Willis. Set it there, and I shall come look at it. You are either a liar or someone who doesn't have any responsibility. Good God, how impressed I say that. Well, I see nothing on these stupid little lines. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing here, nothing there. What about there? Oh, 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 no. No, 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 no,
and dog muddy footprints, and maybe animals too. I don't want her coaches to get biggled and boggled, and there to be stains on the windows. I don't want to have to mop up the floors. I don't want the seats being damaged and chewed on by dog's teeth. I should say incisors, caddies, and molars. Because you'll find any mollusks. I'm sure there'll be a pack of crowds trying to find mollusks down at the beach. Seashells by the seashore. We have enough passengers to worry about. There's a big crowd coming to the beach, and the beach is only so big. We need an extra. We need, we need a bigger beach divided into half. So that we can find to have on the peaceful side, and they get another on their peaceful side. Don't you know what I mean? I hope you do. If you don't, I will pay you a thousand pounds. You need to make sure if there's any extra passengers, because we're going to get here rather early in the morning. I'm too early, not this early in the dawn morning. But if there's any passengers, we won't get there at the crack of dawn. There we are. If there was any other holiday makers, they must find another beach somewhere else. But I know I don't want to hear the excuses, Sarge. I said I don't want any mayhem causes on this delightful trip. This is supposed to be a summer fun outing, and I don't want too much noise. We have enough noise already with our passengers. Uh, I don't want to hear it. I know there was a lot of people at the beach. I know it is sunny. I don't want to come on cloudy days so it would ruin the fun and make me burst into tears. And I don't want to come to beaches that are packed with a bunch of noisy holiday makers. I know there was a lot of people. But life has its wits and bears. Do you understand? That's always what I wanted to hear. You're going to be fired if you don't give me what I want. Because I'm a queen. I consider you all, the people who do everything for me, as peasants. Yes, 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 peasants. They do all the work. I am asking you to do your jobs for me. It'll really help me out. Make me enjoy the beautiful day. Thank you. I will be laser focusing on you when we go to the beach. You need to get everyone sorted out. Oh, I shall sit on the beach, not in a queen's chair, but you know the wooden side pleasures. And do you know what? I have some excellent news. I just won't be sitting on the beach with a newspaper. My legs are good now. They're very energetic. They're here. They're cured. And that means I shall be able to go in the caves of pirates and hunt for treasures. And I shall go along the beach. I shall take my shoes off and then I shall jump through waves. And I shall have a blast and I shall create amazing memory. I shall hunt on the beach of seashells. I shall give me some seashells. I shall look for seashells. And I shall also go to the tunnels and in the caves. I can't wait to start. I mean, I'm so glad my legs are cured. The doctor came to me this morning, I did message to scruples, and he said, that's just his name, but I don't think he thinks it's too, but that's just his name. He came to me and said, I'm perfect now. You can go on the beach, Mrs. Bartholomew, and you can have a blast. I know you're sad. But I can tell you this, you have a million things to be glad about right now. That's exactly what
somebody said, that's the exact what? And he's a very old man, he is. He's pretty nice. Don't ever speak badly about my doctors. He was a very nice man, and if you say another comment that's negative about him or anyone, I shall put you in my dissection room. Do you understand? Okay, the process is simple. I put them under a nothing and sleep spell. Then, my dissectors dissect four pieces out of their skin. One here. Then I mix them in with a little blood and poison with my poison mushroom soup. And then all the doctors open the mouth and then the soup goes in and then they never wake up but they die. Well, not die, of course I wouldn't do a die, but they stay in there for 48 hours. They feel like going into the land of unbelievable teachings. But the giant that sweeps the floor is the exact contra of Mrs. Bundlebox. Box. Mrs. Bundlebox, they should say, well, that's a casualty. Now, now talk. Good thing you understand my message. This is a very important one. Meaning, urgently important. You have a very basic meaning. That's the idea of it. I shall celebrate and do a little